Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Miss Ivy here, aka Kandake, coming at you with another video. Today's topic, this video might be pretty quick. I just wanted to share with you all my favorite um, vegan meat alternatives. Now, I've been a vegan going on almost three years now, so to be honest with you, I've kind of graduated from eating a lot of um, mock meats or, you know, meat alternatives. But every now and then I still will have some meat alternatives and I just wanted to share with you all what some of those are. Now I don't personally believe that meat alternatives are the absolute healthiest uh, part of a vegan diet. I actually prefer to eat whole foods, plant-based vegan um, diets, but you know, every now and then I still have meat alternatives. So I just wanted to share with y'all some of the ones that taste really good to me for the newbies or the people that's just trying to switch over to a vegetarian vegan lifestyle. So um, one of my favorites that tastes really good to me, and this, and, and also I want to say this, this list, it includes restaurant too. And I'm talking about chains, not just like local restaurants, because I know I live in Chicago, but I'm speaking to the world. So um, on a grander scale, it's not a lot, but you know, I got one or two to put on the list, I think. But anyway, so one of the ones that I used to, that I really like that tastes pretty good to me, like Gardein makes pretty good meat meat alternatives, and from what I understand, the all of their meat alternatives, well, the ones that I've had have, have been vegan, and those include their their seven grain uh, crispy tenders, and those are really good to me, and also they have a beefless ground that I think is pretty good. I've used it to make tacos and it was in and um i really like it in tacos and spaghetti and stuff like that so i like those that taste pretty good um also there's another brand that was pretty good to me i like the i like the beyond burger it had to grow on me because i have to be honest with you the first time i had the beyond burger it was just like i was kind of weirded out because to me it tastes like how raw ground beef smell if that makes any sense at all so i really was like a little thrown off the first time i fixed them but at the same time, that was my first time fixing it. So, you know, I had to get into the swing of things. So I made it again and I liked it this time. I seasoned it up and, you know, and, and I don't know those Beyond Burgers, the patties are really like thick and, you know, juicy like. So I like mine to be flattened out. So I did flatten them out in the pan and season them and then they were pretty good, you know, especially when I did it with the pretzel buns that they sell at Whole Foods and some sauteed onions and, and whatever and mushrooms so then it was pretty good and my, my battery uh is low on my camera i had to get rid of that low camp pad low power mode thing but anyway so yeah that was that's actually pretty good i i like that and also i gotta put in white castle they have that beyond uh, not the beyond burger i'm sorry the impossible burger the impossible burger i've had it at white castle and there's a little restaurant uh called bar louis that that's in Chicago. They uh, sell it as well, except I couldn't get it with the bun there because their bun was not vegan. So I had to get it. I just got it with, on top of the vegetables and it was still really tasty. So um, I like the way the Impossible uh, Burger tastes. And it's, it's sometimes it's kind of eerily, it does really, really taste like meat. And like I said, you know, that kind of like throws me a little bit because I really don't need that um that that taste but like i said every now and then i still will eat some meat alternatives um also a brand um it's called mornings the brand morning star they make pretty good um these buffalo chicken nuggets thingies um those are good and also the original um uh, chicken nuggets are good and they are vegan so those are pretty good so i like those um what else? Let me think. Oh, another uh, thing that Gardein makes that was pretty good to me is their orange chicken. It's pretty good. So I like that too. And also their meatloaf. It was really good too. And the brand Amy's that makes the little TV dinners. I like their their vegan meatloaf dinners. Those are pretty good as well. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, all this stuff to me is like super duper highly processed. So it's not something I recommend to eat all the time. But I still recommend that over, you know eating animals as just do you know at the end of the day it's still a little bit healthier than eating animals and i feel like to be a vegan you can it's not you know it's not enough to just be vegan you got to eat healthy too so i just encourage people to try to limit those limit those things because after all you're making a lifestyle change but for the newbies it is okay if you have to you know you have to gradually get yourself off of there you know 
Most people can't just do stuff cold turkey. I did it, you know, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. And um, I think those are the, the meat alternatives that I can say I've had that taste pretty good. There's also another brand. I have to get back with y'all. I might have to put that in the description below, but there were some burritos that I had. And one of them was Philly cheesesteak, and the other one was a chicken fajita burrito. I wish, I don't know why I can't figure the name out of those. I'll have to put, like I said, put it in the description below. But I bought them at Walmart, and they taste really good. They taste, the, the actually, I, I the chicken one tastes too much like chicken. I won't even be eating it anymore because I kind of, it weirded me out. It was just too much like chicken. And I was done. I was like, uh-uh. But I gotta, I don't remember the name of it. I'll find out what it is, and I'm going to put it in the uh, description box below when I find out. So y'all got to give me a second, even if you don't see it immediately when I post the video, but it's going to be on there. Um, another thing, um, the, the, the things are just coming to me right now, and there's another brand that's pretty good. Um, doggone it, I don't want to get a brain fart right now while I'm filming this video. Um, so I guess I might just be leaving it right there because something really just came to me, and it came, and it went. Um, oh yeah, so also when it comes to sausages, I like the uh, tofurkey, the Italian and the uh, kielbasa sausages, they're really good. I like those. Um, Boca burgers, they were, I, I used to, I haven't eaten a Boca burger in so long, but those are pretty good as well. Um, the vegan ones, on the, when I, I haven't had anything grilled in a while, but on the grill, they were good. Um, so I like those and... Let's see. Yeah, I think that's all that I can pretty much think of right now. Um, that, And I'm just naming the ones that I like. I've had other kinds, but those are the kinds that I actually like. Um, because, I, you know, it's a lot of different um, meat alternatives. And to me, they're not necessarily all delicious or whatever. But, yeah, those are the ones that I had that were pretty good to me and i just wanted to share that with you all um what are some of the brands that you've had that i did not mention that you like that was pretty good in my lap in the comment section below leave them and let's just discuss that i just wanted to share that with y'all oh and also um field roast i've had field roast uh italian kind of sausage inside of a lasagna it was really good and I've also had the apple one on its own, but I didn't care for it. And I just think it tasted good in the lasagna on its own. I don't know. So, you know, it's also good to add that. And also the uh, be the Beyond Meat Crumbles, they were okay in chili, but that's it. But, like, other things I tried it in, I didn't care for it. So, yeah, that wraps it up. That's I'm just going to leave it there. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I hope this video was helpful. Like I say all the time, anything that I say, hopefully that I'm sharing something that you all can take away from. And you don't have to take everything that I say and run with it, but something, hopefully something resonates with you because at the end of the day, I just want to help y'all out. So, I guess I'll talk to you all later. Until next time, peace and blessings.